Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to attach straps, velcro, and elastics to Warbla armor. Velcro and straps work best when they have a point of contact on the top and bottom of the Warbla. That way they won't slide out as you're wearing it. With velcro, I like to cut a square hole on one side. When I put Warbla over top of that, it goes over the first part of the velcro, through the hole, which fuses the Warbla on top to the Warbla on the bottom, and over the other side of the velcro. This creates an anchor point, so that way the Velcro itself can't pull out because that Warbla anchor point is keeping it in place. A similar method is good to use for straps. For the side of the Velcro that doesn't stick out, we can still cut holes and use the Warbla to cover a part of it and create those contact points. However, I'd also recommend using hot glue or super glue, especially around the edges. When glue is put all the way around the edges of your strap or Velcro, it makes it harder for an edge to come off and start ripping the entire piece. Once a little bit starts coming off, it's much easier to take the whole thing with it. So we anchor down every single one of the sides to prevent that from happening. If you'd like, you could even use Warbla around the edges of it too. Elastic is a little different because you don't want to cut a big square hole in it. That would cause your elastics to rip. Instead, I fold the edge of the elastic in half and I cut a small slit. When I open it up, it makes a little hole, not too big though, because we don't want the elastic to rip. When putting the Warbla over top of this, I stretch it ever so slightly so that way this hole opens up just a tiny bit and I use my finger to press the Warbla in through it. It's very secure on the inside and I'm not going to have to worry about the elastic pulling out or ripping. For straps and elastics that are too thin to cut a hole or a slit through, I like to tie a knot instead. These elastics are held in place using the knot method. I take a piece of elastic, just like this, and I tie a knot on one end of it. Make sure the knot is fairly big and bulky compared to the rest of the elastic. Here's my elastics with the knots. I'm going to attach it by putting Warbla over top, however it's going to cover the knot entirely as well as a little bit in front of it. When I tug on it afterwards, the Warbla keeps it in place because the bulk of the knot isn't small enough to fit out underneath the Warbla that's hardened into place right after the knot itself. Depending on the usage of your straps, you might also want to use a metal ring. One half of the ring is attached to your armor using Warbla folded over the edge. The other half has the strap attached to it by folding it around and sewing it over in place. Even after attaching all of these pieces with Warbla, you could also go ahead and add hot glue or super glue for some added security. It depends on what you feel is necessary. It's important for any piece of your armor that you would like to use straps, elastics, or Velcro to attach to that you already have some Warbla underneath. When putting the Warbla on top, to hold your piece in place, it's important that it's got Warbla on the bottom as well, so that way they can fuse together properly and keep your piece from sliding out. Feel free to comment any additional questions. Thanks for watching.